Okay, so now that you have seen how to do the content aware fill, here's another way that I use a lot, is just that, that as I showed to you also, is just the famous clone tool. If you click on an old one to you click, you have the clone stem tool and the pattern stem tool. I use the clone stem tool. So here's what happens how it works. So very simple is just that you select a target where you want to make the information. So if I click onto here and then and then also what I would recommend is just that when you're doing the clone tool, make sure that you take a target at the same depth of your photo. So I would not go in here and just say, okay, I'm going to select this guy over here and I'm going to start to paint over over here. Why would I not do that? It's because you see like the depth of it doesn't match. Like if you go to this side, to that side, it doesn't match together. But if I do it this way, this is kind of the same depth. I'll click onto this guy and I start to paint. You see that now it doesn't look so bad. And this one, I use a lot of selection tools. So therefore I go in and it's just like I try to make it. So it's not going to be the same kind of pattern over and over again. But that's one way you can actually do that. So therefore, if I go in here, I'm going to use this one over here, click onto this one, and just start to paint this way. And you can do it like that, and also like try to make it going to be the same kind of depth as I can again. So this is really useful. So if I go in here and just start to paint that part, and you can actually just use one more time, and go like that, and you keep on doing this all over again. And, and you can select right now. The pixel are not erased. You can see that what what the target is. Like I don't know if you can see the cross on the left hand side, but this cow was still there. So therefore, it's the the little cross is coming over. So I'm gonna go in here and click onto this, and then go like that and just be done. So that's one other way that you can actually use uh, to clone stuff out or to clone stuff in. So what I mean by that is just that well, let's have a look and just see. You know what? I want to take this fence. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to click on to maybe like this part of it here. And I'm going to start to paint all over here. So you can see the information. So you see the target, it's right there. And I can clone stuff where I can use this. When do I use the clone? Is just that to put stuff in? It's just that uh, I use that a lot to add details or add some stuff into my photos. Uh, example, like sometimes you have... Um, a really good side of the building and the other side of the building is not that great because it's being built or it's being renovated you can always go and just clone the tool and just make it happen like that so this is the clone tool that I just showed to you uh, which is fairly easy now I want to show you right away in the same video it's the actual uh, patch tool so this one is if you want to do it really quickly a selection and you want to do a patch where you can actually just select and just duplicate it if you want to you could have done like what I've just done just brush this thing or you can actually just make a selection of it kind of like this over here I'm going to do it like that okay and I don't have to be really precise and in this case over here I'll say to you like the, on the top you see like you have multiple things you can use you can try that and do the testing you have the source destination and transparency use a pattern you can use that but for me like for this purpose let's say that this if I click over here and I start to move it that's what I want to do is actually I want to take the new information like this over here. So I want to take this part and paste it over here. So if I go into this part over here, let's go in here and just say, you know what? Uh, I'm going to do a deselect and just go like that and just move this guy. Really bad job of selection. But anyways, it's just that you can see the picture, what I'm trying to do. And this like obviously not a nice job, but anyways, you get to see what this does. So those are the things that I use, and I showed that to you into the class. So the next stop will be some more ad adventures with the actual Photoshop, the Parafolo, how it is. It'll be changing the skies.